All right, you are welcome to Beyond Entertainment Show with PBO, the stories behind the movies. And today I have with me a very important personality, somebody that we all know, I assume. Or should I say I presume? Yeah, which one? At least a good number of our viewers must have seen his face one way or the other. But... Uh, as our custom is here in the bench show, I would love him to introduce himself. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. You look so cool, you look in takeaway. <laughs> it's God, sir. It's God. God. Yes, sir. I have God. <laughs> That's why you look the same. You look cool. Oh, I look cool. You look cool. I love I love this. It's God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me forget that. Good to see you. Thank you very much. We sir. thank God for the grace of God upon your life. Uh, it's been a while. A while, sir. I think this should be your second or third time being an entertainment. This should be the third. Yeah, I think yeah, third. Yeah, the third. I think third. But the first in this new studio. Definitely. So it's good to see you. It's a privilege. <laughs> it's a privilege. Thank you very much. Sir. All of us, privilege on the go. Mm. So uh, we don't want to take it for granted. Please, it would be good for you to introduce yourself to our audience as much as you want our audience to know. All right. Um, my name is Philip Olamide Oyeleye. Okay. Um, I'm a filmmaker. I'm a videographer. Okay. And um, I'm an economist. Economist. Yes. Cool to know. A resource economist specifically. Okay, whatever that means. <laughs> I'm an artist. I read graphic design. Amazing. By the special grace of God. But I didn't finish from Abad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Did you say Olamide? Yes. You look ebotic. Some people will, from afar, will say, maybe Philip is an Igbo person. I get that a lot. I like, get that a lot. I so get that I, a lot. I, I was not the first person talking about that. Not at all. So I, what, how has been your reaction to that? Uh, well, when I open my mouth and tell them, I need them nearly look old. It's like you They'll be like, ah, ah, eh. I said that. Well, I'm actually, I'm a Yoruba guy from Oshun State, specifically from Esauke. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yes, sir. However, it's it's in this kingdom, it's not about where we come from. Mm. It's about the kingdom. Mm. You know, as long as you belong to the kingdom, you belong to us. In this kingdom, there is no Igbo, no Yoruba, no Aosa, no nothing. Wow. Except kingdom citizens. I, I think that is what we should celebrate. I agree, sir. 100%. Cool. It's exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think of course there's more to watch you watch you're welcome to beyond entertainment show all right you are welcome back this is beyond entertainment show the stories behind the movie and right here i have with me our brother philip oyele yeah and we are talking about the drama ministry, the kingdom acting, and specifically, we are talking about Ab Tua by Damilola Mike Bamiloye. By the way, have you seen episode 5 of Ab Tua? If you have not seen that, please rush to Damilola Mike Bamiloye YouTube channel to see it from season 1, season 2, season 3, 4, and right now we are in 5 14 episodes. Mm. We thank God for what the Lord is doing in the drama ministry worldwide. Using many of our brethren and this time around, Damilola, we say God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. So, Brother Philip, yes, how sir. has been the journey, the Abatua journey? When did you come into Abatua? Season what? Um, season three. That's season three. Oh, season three. So you were not in season one at all. You were not in, in season two. two. Yeah. So the character Rambo was introduced in season three. In season three. Yes, so sir. season three, season four. No, I wasn't. I didn't feature in season four because that was when Rambo got killed. I told you to be mad. Pull the trigger. You can't take me down. Take thousand of you. Take thousand of you. Take thousand of you. Don't be take me down for this one. Oh, 
oh, at the end of season three. Yeah. Yeah. So the character was introduced back in season five. In season five. Exactly. Are you a ghost or you are you are real? See this fool. What I am is inconsequential to what you will be in few seconds, buddy. I watch you die. <laughs> yeah, you did. How? How? How come? How come you are still alive? Mystery. How much do you want me to give you? I'll double it. How much? Send out your money. Carry me, come on, forgive. What do you want? What I want. Get! Get! Ah! 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 That's what I want. I want to see you scream. I'm a, I'm a member of the secret seer of the underworld. You cannot kill me. I cannot die. <sighs> The owner of your soul brought me back to life. That's a serious one. Yes, sir. So how did he come into Abattoir? Ah. I think we have talked about this before. I, I think so, yeah, right? We have talked about this before. Yes. Just, just give us a brief. Well, um, I was called for a movie, Legion. Okay. But I didn't pull through. Okay. And um, I met... For some um, reasons. For some reasons. You know. And um, later on, me and um, Prodami, Tamna Mabamloyi met up. Again at Sonda, so that year. Day, yeah, Sonda yeah. did that year, and um, he just said I got something for you, and that's what that's how it was. Yeah, you know, we kicked it, it was off. looking like a small thing. It was looking yeah, like yeah, like just one of. I tell you, yeah. Just so you know, it, the character definitely from what I read, the character was just someone that would just come and go. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's not looking to even to me. It wasn't looking like. A major, a like major that. important yeah, role, role like at the long run. Like a you know? kind of cameo. Just yeah, come because on. he didn't even. We didn't have f scenes like that. Yeah. I'm not sure the entire season. Maybe we did close to like. Uh, I mean, the entire season. Yeah. We did close to like 20 scenes. I'm not sure oh, it was up yeah, to 20 scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just thinking that well, it's just one of those things. Let me just act and go and just go. Yeah, you know. And then the funny thing is that sometimes even the writer, that's Damilola you know, does not even know what next mm. to be fair on him. Sometimes True. he doesn't work with me, doesn't know what next. Just write script and think that, okay, maybe, you know, and then before you know it, you know. The other day I was talking with him and he was talking about scripting, you know, with the grace of God, with the Holy Ghost. Sometimes you are writing, it's like, God, I don't even know what no, next. What mm. You know, you have to just put your pen down and go and say, God, please, what yeah, next? Mm. What's going to happen to this character? Mm. What's going to happen to this character? I think mm. that has been the case. Mm. So we thank God for the role, Rambo. Rambo, Rambo. So how has Jesus. it been, you know, coming in, out, uh, in, in and out of location? I'm sure it has been very, very convenient for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, convenient is the word. No, yeah. it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's, I know. It's, it's not. Been... We have our fathers here. Our fathers, you've been in and out every time. You know how it is. We are still coming up, you know. No, actually, it's a, it, you know, it's a calling. It's a calling, you know. It's it's mm. what we do that you know of is is you know. Baba Deboye preach behind the pulpit. All right, sir. Don't say you can use some. Mm. You know, it is the same gospel but different, different media. Yes, sir. You know, but we use drama. Mm. We dramatize the gospel. gospel. So when Paul Absolutely. was speaking and said that even though I preach this gospel, mm. I have nothing to glory of. But he said necessity is laid on mean. me. And who is me if I don't do it? That's the difference between what we do and what happens in the secular. That's actually one of the questions I'm going to ask you. The drama ministry. Hmm. You have stayed through to this call as a drama minister, a kingdom actor. Yes, sir. Is it that you've you've you are getting all the monies? You understand <laughs> what I'm saying now? Some people see you walking by the roadside or taking a card and they say, No, no, I can't believe this. It wasn't in what I saw. <laughs> You know, I'm sure you are making a lot of money. My God. Ah, please, sir. Don't let us go there. <laughs> let us clarify this thing, right? Like you strictly said, 
once you understand that it is a ministry, yeah, a ministry is your input, your contribution to God's kingdom, mm. you know, and you understand that in kingdom of heaven, money money is not a value of exchange. Yeah, it's yeah. not a medium of exchange. Yeah. they don't pay you in money; they pay you in other things. Yeah. So as much as um, you want the money aspect. You are working for God. Every other thing is being sorted. Yeah. And that is one thing I, I see people kind of get scared in drama ministry. Yeah. If you like, so how do we sort the financial aspect? Yeah. Yeah. But the truth is this, leave it to God. Mm. You know, mm. leave it to God. Leave it to God. Leave it to God to do it. This is how many years now? And um, I can say that I don't think, I, I don't even, I don't think I have not begged anybody. Hmm. And I'm they sure you, was, yeah. you, you, you have much experience in this. In, honestly, personally, I was yeah. skeptical at the beginning. You know, yeah. we just do, uh, you guys do things here. If you see me carry your card, I'll glory to God. Mm-hmm. If you see me carry, but I have enjoyed, first thing, let me say, I've enjoyed so much peace. One. Mm-hmm. Secondly, I've enjoyed so much honor. Mm-hmm. So much on all glory to Jesus. Mm-hmm. And when I said peace, first of all, these are the things that some secular people that I have worked with that they are just colleagues in, in court, they don't have. Mm, mm. Godliness and contentment, contentment is a have. great gain. A tosser. You know, I, I, I'm I still going to do a show. I told PMH the other day that mm. we're going to sit down together and break these things down. Yeah. Because the younger generation does not really understand the ministerial part of this. Hmm. You know, so when 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 a lot of things happen, you know, sometimes they come on social media to complain. Hmm. You know, we know that it is not everybody that say I want to do yes, sir. that are really doing what God has sent them to do because the other dimension is that it is possible. Mm. I was telling some people the other day, it is possible to organize a whole location. Yes, sir. Just for sure. Yes, sir. Not that God has sent you for anything. Absolutely. You just sir. want to prove that I am better, better than the other person. Yes, sir. And in this kingdom, it's not about who is better. It's about fulfilling the mandate and doing what God wants you to do. At, as pro- Anyways, absolutely. maybe we should still put that on hold <laughs> for now. But I want to beg you, if you are listening to us, if mm. God has sent you mm. and you are waiting for men to honor you before you do what God has mm. sent you out of all men. I don't know what to call you because at the end of the day, you are standing face to face with God to explain what you have done with the talents and the gift that God has given you to go and profit with and bring people to His kingdom. Yes, what it's a matter. Yes, it's a matter. You don't get a gift from God and run to yeah. the world to go and use it. To, to exploit men or to make men go away from the kingdom of God, you're going to pay dearly for that. So, mm-hmm. we have come to stay. Absolutely, sir. Paul said, I've learned how to abase mm-hmm. and how to abound. Mm-hmm. Whether there is lack, yeah. whether there is plenty. Mm-hmm. I saw, is he Anukolade wearing a shirt? He said, we die here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, we, we die, die here. here. That is our resolve, you know. Mm-hmm. I was telling somebody here. Sometimes some people call us foolish. Hmm. Paul said, "I am, I am a fool for Christ." People will ask you, "What do you stand to gain?" What do you stand to gain? You went for a location and they said that. So how much did they? Pay? How much did they pay you? I, I don't want to talk. <laughs> well, I, I I tell people that if God has given you something, yeah, and you are not using it for His own agenda, yeah. then you are a thief. That is the thing. It's like you are taking from him. I tell to you. To go and use it somewhere. To go and use it somewhere. This thing, be, your gifts and talents belongs to God. Mm-hmm. And it must be used for his purposes. Yeah. As much as you are conscious of dying, that, oh, where do I spend my eternity? Yeah. You must also be conscious that whatever he has given unto you, that mm-hmm. is what he will require of you. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So it is wisdom to follow God's path. Because th- life is limited. Very, very limited, sir. We do not have much time. Mm. Why don't you just use this thing that he has given you? So when you get to heaven, you know, go and explain, explain, explain. explain and every day is explain no tire. I tell you. So these things that you do, that you want to use your gift to exploit people, hmm. exploit people, depopulate the kingdom of God, and right. you still hope that you still want to go back to that kingdom. 
my dear, you are just deceiving yes, yourself. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, so for us, I don't even know why we're talking about this because it's not the purpose of this interview <laughs> anyway. But for me and for somebody like him and for many of us, it's we have made up our minds mm-hmm. that this is the reason for living. You know, many people talk about why do you do this? Why do you do this? Why do you, what is motivating you? Mm. And my kind of motivation is quite funny. I say my motivation is death. Hmm. The fact Can. that you will die one day. Yes, sir. And it is certain. Yes, sir. And the date is in the hands of the Lord. Mm-hmm. So you live a day per mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. as though the end is tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You spend, you pour your life into whatever you are doing for God, knowing fully well that that may be your last. Yes, sir. None of us knows the last look. Yes, sir. None of us know the work that you will do last for him. Yes, sir. You know, so why just going in and out, out, in and out, in and out? Do this thing for God. And that is why this show is called Beyond Entertainment, entertainment. Show. Absolutely. It wow. is beyond entertainment. We are just using the vehicle of entertainment, but we are packaging the same old gospel, the old rock get cross. Yes, sir. That is why we are pushing to men. Yes, sir. You know, so if I do a movie that is just making men to laugh, and just to get entertained. Get entertained. And that is all. For me, I consider myself doing that out of all men, the most miserable. And we are not apologetic about, about this. It. How would I see? I have gone under water to act. Amazing. Myself and cameraman, I don't like water. People swim, I don't like. I'm not on bungee. Wow. <laughs> but I don't like to swim. But for the purpose of the gospel, we went underneath the water. That day I was sick, I was shivering. But we just had to do it. A saying that will not be up to one minute in the entire movie. We went down. So all of this is for people to just be laughing. Say, oh, that guy knows how to act. God forbid, bad thing. It is for the kingdom in case God has called you to this matter. And then you are not here doing the work of the Lord with your acting gift. Just know fully well that you'll be standing before him one day. To give account of yourself. I am sorry I'm not condemning you. I'm only <laughs> preaching the word of God. Let's talk about number two. You will die. I know Sabi how you take escape grave. But I want to show up as so. Rambo. Your days are numbered. <laughs> God, you don't forget. Say so you don't forget. Make an make you understand. Ah! Mirambo, Namio, Imata, nobody. If you send me back to that grave, I shall be one person. But if you drown with ease, Maxis. All right, you're welcome back. This is Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. The story is behind the movies. Now we want to talk about Abatua. Mm. It's been a wonderful, honestly, to be sincere. Of course, you know that in this, we do not flatter. Um, it was Elio in the book of Job that was saying, I know not how to flatter, hmm. lest my maker take me away. All right? Um, the role interpretation, one or two persons has talked about that before. The way God has graced you to embody that role, you know. Um, what would you say has been the secret? You know, in terms of role interpretation, especially when we're talking about Abatua, the role of Rambo. Even now that Rambo has now translated to another character, character. you yeah. know, that is Paul, Paul Israel, Israel, we could still see that, you know. So it's not even about the costume. Mm. You know, the role interpretation honestly has been so awesome. You know, okay. maybe you may want to advise or you want to say something about that. Okay. So recently, I was watching. I, I saw an interview of okay. this an American actor. Um, I forgot saying the name of the series. So it, it, the person was telling the actor was telling the interviewer that um, you know there's this thing about acting that has to do with the spirit. Okay. And the lady was confused. You know, generally people say Hollywood. You know, it's just about professionalism and all. And he said, but when he wants to go for when go on set especially when he gets the script. He studies the script, right? Then he goes into the, um, there's a break, there's a room whereby you can take a break there or something. So he switches off the light, you know. He stares at the, at the what's it called, at the mirror there for a while. And he begins to say some things, like, more like a chant, hmm. you know. And he said, all of a sudden, 
he feels it like a spirit has come upon him. Then like few, I, I wish that maybe I could get something like I'll send it to you personally. Okay. Then it comes outside and deliver perfectly. So I said that to say that a lot of people believe that when we say it is a spirit of God, they think we are just trying to form humility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people believe that we are just trying to form humility. I can't, I am sitting here to tell everyone that cares to listen that there is a spirit part of acting. And that is the best way you can actually interpret the role. Mm -hmm. Now, we understand the aspect of you studying your script, you know, and doing whatever you whatever. I'm still going to go there. But there is a spirit aspect whereby once it comes on you, it takes over your body. That even though when you are watching yourself, you'll be like, how did I even do that yeah, reaction? Yeah, 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 you got it. You begin to ask yourself, how did I get to this point? So when I tell people, the secret here, absolutely, the base, the foundation is the Holy Spirit. And what does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit will teach you to go and read your script. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will teach you to study from other people. Mm -hmm. Study how people that have done it before. The Holy Spirit will help you pay attention to the director, which is very, very, very important. Because the, the director understands the script so well yeah. and wants yeah. to see a particular um, character, the way he has written it down. Yeah. Then the Holy Spirit will teach you to do more of Riazas. Mm. Then I will also share this secret. Whenever we want to jump on set, you say, God help me. You know, um, I had that from Benson in Daosa. He said, the, the prayer that you can pray, that God attacks immediately and comes. He said, God help me. And truly, truly, that you know by yourself that yeah, I cannot I do this. Do this. And he sent his God. spirit to influence you. So this yeah. is the secret about this. There is no special source. I'm sure what I've said, there is no special source. But I want people to understand that there is a spiritual aspect to it. If you want to play a madman, if the spirit of madness come on you, you interpret it well. Hmm. So you need the spirit. Okay. You need the spirit. You need the spirit. And uh, from what you are saying, you know, you are talking about a man entering to a room and all of that. Yeah. And that is in a secular way. Now, the issue is this. Kai, you have said a lot of things, so I, I, I hope you really know the, the depth of what you have said. That whether it be secular, yeah. whether it be gospel, yes, sir. there's a spirit behind there is a spirit it. I've heard the story of somebody before that was to act the role of a madman. Hmm. And then, you know, somewhere at Ife, he will go to a particular location to study a madman. Mad man. And wow. he was studying that madman for weeks, mm. maybe for months. Mm. And when he came on stage to act that role of a madman, he was a mad man in terms of the interpretation of the role. But you know what? After the stage, he couldn't come back Man, to himself. Kai. You know, so nothing is physical. Absolutely, sir. That is why I cannot carry my body hmm. to go and act for whatever will not bring glory to the kingdom of God. Primarily, I will not, no matter what I am being offered. I cannot. And I, I, I think I need to add this to this. Yeah. Uh, there is a spirit attached to consistency. Mm -hmm. When you are consistent about a thing, not, whether anyone believes it or not, when you are consistent, naturally, except being an habit, there's a spirit attached to it. Mm -hmm. So what do I mean? So if you go out there and you are acting in a, in a certain way, yeah. I hallow today, you kiss tomorrow, adultery today, whatever, and you are showing it really, really. It it won't take any how, I mean any minute yeah. for the for you to be attached to that spirit. To that, spirit. that is why we in this space we are very, very careful on what we do. On what we do. And to the extent that, that, we, that the Holy Ghost will permit, permit us to go. We absolutely. can't do everything on absolutely, stage. Sir. And we tell people it is not making it real, it's making it yes. believable. It's believable. There's something about Rambo. Amazing. Rambo was a difficult guy. Rambo was a cultist. Rambo was everything. Mm. And the role was interpreted so well. And yet we didn't see Rambo smoke cigarette. Amazing. We didn't see Rambo. I was like, <laughs> wow. Oh. We, didn't see, we didn't even see him wow. smoking drugs mm. and staining the nose. Mm. But you won't see all those things. And yet. You can see how terrible. Convincing. Mm. That's what we are talking about. Do you need to be on top of a lady to show that you are, you know, acting an immoral thing? Mm. You don't have to do that. And that is why the kingdom acting is totally different. Yes, this is Beyond Entertainment Show with PBO. The story yeah. behind the movies. We'll be right back.
bo ba te sere ti o to le sode a je wi pe o gbodo dira bi akiko ju o de ni Killing she. Mufe dira phoni bi odlote. Ah, eman no bossi mi. Ah 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 ah. Ode dira so dira le. Ah ah. Tale ni tu mufe pagan. Duro Sonia. Papa, no, 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 no. All right, you're welcome back to Beyond Entertainment Show. The stories behind the movies. We've been having amazing time here at the studio of Bent Show, and I'm with my friend and my brother <laughs> Philip Oyele. Yeah, of course, I play the role of Rambo. In the movie Abatua by Damilola Mike Bamiloye. In case you have not seen Abatua, please go see it right away in Damilola Mike Bamiloye YouTube channel. So we're talking about Abatua. Now that uh, the 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 before I ask this, the coming back of Rambo. Mm, all right, all right. You know, um, people presumed they were assumed or believed that rambo has died yes sir the coming back of rambo how yes, did that make you feel especially when they called you back that you still have some things to do didn't you ask yourself what <laughs> what is it they're doing <laughs> yeah you know? honestly honestly i actually it, i was also surprised yeah you know i, I said it like i felt rambo was just the one guy that just comes yeah. in and go up you know and when i i received a call from bro Dami, i was like ah why how did the so but the question in my mind i'm sure that that was this, that same question was also on yeah. many on uh, many people's yeah. mind how do you want this guy to come back yeah to life how so i got the the news got to me i was shocked i i felt like me too i want them to justify it yeah. before even picking up of the course road. now because i i don't really justify want to justify it scripturally <laughs> <laughs> because i didn't just want to be part of Ah, yeah. you guys are doing film trick. Yeah. So I wanted him to justify, but he said, "Okay, calm down, do this and this and that." And I said, "Oh, amazing! Let's yeah. go." Wow. That's it. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And we thank God for the scripting, you know. And that was what ended the last season. The last season. season. And I was also happy that the guy actually got the chance to come back. Yeah. Because if you look at the trajectory, the life of of Rambo, mm. he, he I felt bad. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I was going to talk about that. Hmm. You know, Rambo, Rambo. I, I think I've I've uh, I've spoken in the place before that Rambo. Was I saying that Rambo was my best character? You know, based on the fact that Rambo was sincere. Mm. Rambo, yeah. Rambo was um, was a lawful captive. Mm. Yes, sir. Should we call him lawful captive or the captive of the mighty? Somebody that was just a pawn in the hand of the devil. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right. You know, um, Rambo was made. It was not his own making. Yes, sir. You know, just like some people, you know. Yes, sir. One day I wrote a script. Is it not not a script? An article that you know. The title of the article is. Uh, I would have been a suicide bomber. <laughs> <laughs> funny, right? Well, it's very funny. Yeah, because I was, I was given the condition. I was, you know, I was painting a scenario that if I was born, for instance, where Osama was born, mm. you know, and then um, his growth was my growth. 
Kai. I would have likely done the same thing. The same thing. He didn't choose where to be born, just mm. like one of us never chose. Mm. He didn't choose to 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 get the parents that he got. Mm. You know, those were the stuffs that God didn't give us opportunity to choose your parents, your nationality, your you know. Assuming you mm. were born under the same circumstances, yes, should you have done better? That hmm. is the issue. Look at the circumstances that surrounded Lambo. Yeah. So he grew up into that, you know, and he was doing whatever he was doing with all oh, of his and just like Paul of you know, Paul of uh, uh, of Tarsus, Tarsus, you know. And at the end of the day, he got transformed. And we could see the transformation just Amazing. like Chief Duro Sonya. Amazing. So we thank God for the life of Rambo. Amazing. Right? Now that Rambo has become um, Paul Israel. Yeah, Paul Israel. I like the name. Like. But I'm not a I like the name. <laughs> the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire. Who brings forth an instrument for his work. I've created a spoiler to destroy. And no weapon! 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 No <laughs> Paul Israel, Paul, Paul Israel. Israel, amazing, amazing Paul Israel. So uh, let's talk about what led him, you know, to that. All right, he was given an assignment by the grandmaster, and somebody was talking about it. Said, Grandmaster, I will do your will, I will do you know the same mm. kind of allegiance that you yeah. really give to God. He yeah. was given to the grandmaster, he was ready to do anything. anything. So, grandmaster sent him to do almost the impossible, hmm. and he put his life on the line to hmm. do that, you know. And it was on that trip, you know, first <laughs> he went for more powers. Oh, there, we are so. You entered into that water for real? Yes. Or it was a film trick? It wasn't a film trick. So you went under the water? So I went, yes. How you were not feeling cold afterwards? W ah. Erugale! Erugale! Sawere pepe, keep pete, come on down! The, that that scene was shot around I don't know maybe like past one or something, you know, and um, middle of the night. Middle of the night. Wow. Yeah. A.M. 1 a.m. While men or, were asleep. While men were asleep. And it was the season of, I don't know, maybe Amatan or I don't know what kind of weather. It was so cold, so cold that they had to prepare a blanket, you know, and I have to do it over and over again. Yeah, you know, different that's And I, I just say, I tell people that, please, um, when you see actors, encourage them. Yeah. Don't just look at this one saying, this one, a little bit more not. For the person to be to yeah, deliver that one, he, yeah, he has yeah, gone through a lot. Yeah. People sacrifice. What if I tell you during this Abattoir series, there were times that just to have that crazy look, I didn't have my bath before that, that, that yeah, you know, yeah. just to have that stuff. I don't understand that some makeup artists can achieve, but at the same time, there's a way, there yeah. are levels, levels of sacrifice. I'm sure some people also have done one or two things, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. just like Baba Gbenro. Mm. When you're on set with Baba Guerrero, you know the kind of sacrifice this man put Baba before Baba going on set. Invested a lot into that. I character. tell you, sir. Emotionally, I everything. tell you, sir. I tell you, sir. So wow. when you now look at people and say this one, you not even do it well. Ah, no, nah, apa, apa. <laughs> you to come and do it. <laughs> come and do it. So um, yeah, I went into the water. 
Yeah, I stayed there for a while. I got cold, but at the long run, it's part of the work. Yeah, you know, it's part of this, the work. Uh, with uh, my brother, all day, Bela. So, honestly, you know, we've been on set together. I know how difficult it is, you know, for you sometimes to 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 speak your very f- f- fluently. fluently. You know, <laughs> but in number two, your delivery was was good. Yeah. Okay, it was was awesome. How did you do that? <laughs> all the incantations and all, ah, I say, Omo, is this Philip? <laughs> is this Philip? <laughs> and the thing was flowing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, I, I, first of all, I would say um, thank you to Daddy Isaac Akitune. Hey, hey, Mino Sobe. Yeah. He was on set with you. He was on set with me um, during that hospital yeah. encounter. Yeah. But he wrote every of those chants. Yeah. Uh, incantation. Uh, yeah. We call it incantation. But no, the first entrance when he disappeared, it wasn't there. Okay. You know, um, um, there are so many things that he saw, it wasn't there. But this is where I'm going to. Because it wasn't there doesn't mean the Holy Spirit wasn't there. Yeah. It's a sin by the Holy Spirit. I know that to an extent I speak more of English, yeah. but at the same time, I know part of the job of an actor is to learn. Yeah. yeah. You know, you learn, you ask questions, can this go, can this not, you know. And when you have the backing of the Spirit, it works. And there, are, there's, there are other things whereby during the incantation, you know, when I'm speaking, I can make errors that are came today will correct me, yeah. you know. It's always there, and that man, Thank you so much, sir. When I see yeah. some of those things, I can say, I can say, I, my heart blesses you, it's, sir. It's done a lot, especially in Yoruba. I tell stuff. you, sir, it's a you fantastic know, director. Larue, by the way, he's a fantastic director. Fantastic, fant- he won't allow any error to go. If you don't pronounce it, well, I say no, go back. This is how to pronounce sir. it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. God bless you, sir. We appreciate you here today. Yes, sir. The Lord will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. So, Amen. from there, the encounter with Martins. Ooh. <laughs> the encounter with Martins. It was, it was we were sitting at the edge of our seat. Oh my god. It was the clash of powers between the, the, the darkness, you know, mm. and then and then the light. You know. How how was that hospital scene? Ah. Especially when both of you were locked in that room. Man. You know, and it was like back to back, 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 back. God helped us. God helped us. Yeah, God but it was tiring. Yeah. I wouldn't lie to you if I would look back. Um, to that season, I can't forget uh, that season. I mean that um, EPM, that scene. Okay. And that of um, that scene where I Rambo fought with um, uh, what's it called? Ayena. Ayena. Yeah. You know we, especially that's one in the hospital we we doing it all over. Yeah, yeah. You know, and making errors, and you still have to be it. Yeah, that tension. tension. Yeah. You know? You can't, you can't, you know, the director will tell you that the tempo has dropped. Yeah. yeah the tempo has dropped. You, you have, have to take it again. again. Take it again, you know. Brother, I mean, say thank you. I want to say thank you also for giving me coke at the end. At the end <laughs> of that. To boost your energy. Boost my energy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I could imagine even the transformation. Heat. You know, to go and change. I know. You know, and then come back to maintain that same tempo. God really helped us. That's yeah. why I said, you know, for the director to think of that, yeah. At that point, she know that. Mm-mm. And funny, it was on set too. It, yeah, he stood yeah. there till I went. I mean, till I got back inside. Yeah. He stood there, didn't move, wow. so that we can have a perfect shot. Okay. You know. Okay. So that's a lot. But people feel like Christians. I don't know. People feel like Christian actors don't make a lot of sacrifices. Or let me say, Christian filmmakers don't make a lot yeah, of sacrifices. Yeah. You just think that they just do things over the blue moon. That is why number one, when you see any drama ministry, please support. Yeah, yeah support all yeah. right and secondly please encourage mm. encourage mm. like share and subscribe like share and subscribe an evangelist once said it does <laughs> it not does bite it does not bite it doesn't bite yeah that's that's awesome that's awesome so from there to the last bus stop hmm. by Ben rose house come the, on the grand master of the kingdom of light <laughs> <laughs> Mm, that's deep. Yes, now. Jesus! Mommy, where is it? Matis, where is he? He, he he's gone. 
What do you mean he's gone? Gone to where? Where am I? Where am I? Uh, there are two grandmasters in, in number two at the mm. baby. Yeah. We have the grandmaster of the kingdom of darkness, then we have grandmaster, you know, it's just that we don't want to carry this thing for head. But we're not a grandmaster in the realm of the spirit. Uh -huh. It doesn't this it is doesn't, this is divine wisdom. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't give up. Wow. It doesn't give up on any soul. It will fight till the end. That's know. you know. So Rambo appearing there. <laughs> That's uh, what they say. Okay, te denyaro. So getting to that, how 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 was that scene like? Ah, our oh, more glory to God. God gave us the what's it called? Um, all thanks to you know the spirit of God inspiring the Baba. That's the yeah. man I'm my and all that fantastic. You know, one of those uh, fantastic actors. One of those things that I'm privileged. You know, being on. I'm I do tell people I'm privileged to be on set with amazing leaders yeah. people that have been ahead have been doing these things before i came in you know and i'm learning a lot so being on set with them we definitely make things smoother mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. that's it yeah that's a counter with the back below now mm -hmm. a lot of people have dropped dead mm -hmm. in number two uh, <gasps> who has gone my, my beloved buddy <laughs> buddy is gone <laughs> the has gone um bossy Oh. Has gone. Who again has gone? Um, who again? Who again? Who again? Who again? Um, my mother of fire. Mother of fire is gone. Yeah, mother of fire. What is about gone. the man that was trained in Afghanistan? <laughs> <laughs> officer, what's it? It's Pius. Not officer. I mean, it's not officer. What's his name? He's uh, one bloody journalist like that. Yeah, oh, he's a journalist. The husband of a of an officer. Officer that was died very cheap. Have you forgotten his name? Chooks. Calculator. The. Ca Calculator, you cannot calculate your debt. <laughs> calculate this thing well. You did. Well, before you, you do that move. And then, uh, Ben Rose, uh, no, Ben Rose fans. Hmm, Eniola, Eniola, Eniola. I mean, we're not just for victims. So now, now, looking at all the debts in number two, yes, sir. Which was the most painful to you? Whew. Which was the main painful? <laughs> All right, so I, I know I know that I'm not trying to be biased. I'm not saying that um, I'm happy that some people left the series, yeah. but I would say Buddy. Buddy. Uh, he did his final scene with me. Wow. You know wow. what I, me? I mean, being Rambo, playing Rambo. Yeah, Rambo. yeah. And when I saw him, I was like, ah. Kai. And this man is very tough. And I will also say this: I learned a lot from ah. Kai Babalola. Onsets and offsets. Came babs now, yeah. but actor, the Lord has really helped him. Yes, he, yes. He, he puts everything into into. He's a into leader. That, yeah, he's into a leader. That stuff. The Lord has really helped him, and uh, the character Rambo ended him like that. <laughs> and that is to say that this devil is is very bad. I tell no you, no matter how far you have served him, hmm. once you know he does not need you again, he just sends you and raises another up. A wise man once said that the devil will place you very high. Yeah, yeah. Then it will make sure you get to that highest point where you feel like you have got it all. Mm. You're untouchable. Then it drops you. Damn. And you scatter like a like a, like a raw egg. Kai, you know, Yoruba said he will give you filler and collect ori. <laughs> you know what that means? He will give you a cap and, and collect, collect your head. <laughs> What such, what such exchange? We played within the name of Jesus. Please mm. don't get, don't don't play games with the devil. It's it's a, it's a terrible thing. You know the the safest place to be is to be in the will of God by surrendering your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So Buddy's death has been the most painful uh, death and exit in number two. Yes, for sir. You. For me personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of people connected yeah. with Buddy actually. Yes, know, it, it was quite emotional. Even though, even though he was evil, or true. He, yes, yes. And know, the fact the... that he didn't have that opportunity to encounter yes. Christ was was the, was the baddest. It was, the, it was but, so sad. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at it, it's not necessarily his fault. Mm. You know. Is mm. just serving. He's just a loyal servant. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. just a loyal servant that just wants to survive. Yeah. And meanwhile, the friend that introduced him into that call, hmm. that God was like saved. a disciple to him into that call. Yes, sir. God saved at the end of the day. Please don't put your life in the hands of people. Hmm. 
follow the Lord Jesus because sometime now you now you look at the 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 fiance of um, of uh, of Bade yeah you know yeah he just appeared in one season F- fiance of Bade no sorry not Bade uh, Benro oh, okay Benro. the fiance of Benro is Benro. the fiance Eniola. of fiance now Eniola, Eniola look at Eniola appeared in one season and disappeared in this in the oh, same see. season. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Drusoy has been there from season one. Now, this season is season five. five. He's still alive, alive and he has been given opportunity to encounter Jesus mm. and is serving the Lord. But look at Beirut and Yola. Hmm. No second chance. Just went. And, like that, that. and that is it, right? Um, I do tell people do not lose yourself, your identity, or do not lose yourself all because of association. Mm. Mm. Because you will not get that privilege. You feel like it be somebody else did it. Okay. Don't do it because you are different. You know, you in the order of God, you are different. Mm. If someone receive mercy, if mercy, if you know, if you know, know if you know, reach you, you know, that's one thing I love about you. You know, there's a balance to it. Yeah, there is a balance to it. It's not this thing will not reach everybody. So you have to be careful. You live your life for yourself. Mm. Know what works for you. Yeah. Have your personal relationship with, with, God. with God. Don't rely on a pastor. Because my pastor is doing something doesn't mean that you should do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 This is very interesting. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's wrap. And this is beyond and today. All right, Cecilia has been introduced. <laughs> we thought it was a joke. Yeah, we were saying that because when Baba Guero was saying it, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't have a dream. It was not a revelation. Mm. He just said it was like a pronouncement. It was almost like a joke, mm. you know. And different people were like playing, playing, you know, talking, playing, talking, playing. You know, and at the end of the day, Cecilia has appeared. I want to take this moment to say a very big thank you to you for everything you've done. Thank you. You see, um, your resilience and indomitable spirit throughout the entire ordeal have been nothing but inspiring. Um, excuse me if I may ask. What's your full name? Oh, sorry. My name is Cecilia. Cecilia Craig. What a beautiful name. Cecilia? Cecilia? Yes. That's my name, Cecilia Craig. Cecilia is waiting for you. By the way, Sumi Sola, Sola baby, and yeah. the husband. Yeah. How, how did they perform? What were you Hi. Come on, come on. I don't know. Maybe it's the first time on screen, but the cute. yeah, I think I was told that's her first time on. On movie screen. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's been doing uh, musical videos. Musical video. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. But, but at the same movies, time, yeah. for movies. Yeah. Sir, he did well. Mm. No, not beyond well. Yeah. I was on set with um, Broinka and I was like, are you for real? Well. This, this guy has. <laughs> and I'm sorry to say this. I'm sorry to say this. I hope they don't cut this one away. But I think Ayena is becoming my favorite character. <laughs> God forgive us, man of God. You shall be me. I do the same come. I me the same come. I don't want to do this. They made me do it. Oh. All right, people. Who tell them? Who tell them? Say ten thousand of you. Ten thousand of you are for my left. Ten of you bring me down. <laughs> No, it, I love that guy. Yeah, yeah. And look at what 
Sumisola did with wow. Cecilia. It was awesome. She, she, that is what we call role interpretation. Yeah. If you look the way I hide the yeah, gestures, gestures, her eyes, you know, yeah. the, the way she talks, you know that yeah. no, no, no. They did fantastic. Awesome, well. awesome. Yeah. And 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 Ayana is like exactly the opposite of Rambo. I tell Rambo you. was like the gri 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 gri. Always frowning. Like this one is so to the love. Camera. I love his love. Same legs. I don't know that. <laughs> And Tell beyond you. that, of the camera, honestly, I must say, mm. that was my first time of meeting both of them. Oh, you know, I mean, we have, we have heard also about you. them, seen them on social media, also, yeah. you know, doing so well, you know, in the gospel um, mm. uh, uh, songs and all of that, you know, but that couple awesomely humble. I and I, I, I want to say something, you know, he said something about Baba Benro. Yeah. Just said it jokingly. We need to be careful of our words. Yeah. Because sometimes this thing can shape our realities. Mm. This meeting is a total waste of time. I'm so sorry for coming in. Mm, I sincerely friend. apologize. I was held down by a federal meeting. Right. It is not usually my custom to keep my guests waiting. Martins, I'm sorry. Oh, oh you, you know my name? I have done my research. Wow, it's highly impressive. <laughs> All right, uh, Ms. Greg, um, let me just introduce you to um, everyone. This is um, Babakbeiro and Mabbeiro. They are my guardians. And this is their son, who happens to be a lawyer. His name is Benro. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. We thought it would be a great assistant, but we're still deliberating on that. I think because he wants to lead. Oh, that's no problem. If you want me to assist him, it's equally no problem. Wow. Man. After all, he knows the case better than I do. Miss Greg, I'm glad you said that. Uh, Miro, now the ball is in your court. What, what do you think? Miro. 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 Mr. Meru? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, please, um, nice to meet you finally. Nice to meet you, sir. I, I'm introduced already. Uh, yes. You have? Yes, I have. Wait. So many minutes ago, what's wrong with you? Oh, okay, so, so what? what's the question again? Do you want to take the lead or should Barry like Greg take the lead? Oh, things. Oh, things. Well, um, I'm not the one to debate on uh, position or leadership. Well, we have a very beautiful, sorry, my bad. I'm a professional. My bad. I mean, a brilliant um, lawyer in the house. And um, it will be my greatest honor um, to assist her in whatever capacity. We have to be very intentional about going against negativity. Mm. Negative words, negative thoughts. Yeah. Because these things can form. Yeah. The, the, the spiritual realm does, do not talk. They don't use words. Mm. It begins with imagination. Can you think about it, it will happen. Mm. Whatever you can think, mm. it will come. Yeah. So this the reality of Cecilia, you know, it's just fun. <laughs> you were catching crew. And this is, uh, I, can't, I, I can't wait for season six where you have, <laughs> I want to believe that we I have was, some. I was actually going to ask you that. What are, we, what, what, what are the expectations for season six? My own expectation, number one, is I want to see the fight between Beiru and, <laughs> and the owner of Cecilia himself. <laughs> that over is, Cecilia. Over Cecilia. That does not even know anything. That doesn't even know anything now. No, so Biro is already, Biro is Biro. already cashing some feelings. Biro is one use. I, I don't want to just. I don't want to say some things I'm not supposed to say. Biro is just one funny character. Very funny. I think we need to analyze that character to at one at one point. You know, even after coming out from madness, from, mm. you know, he, we thought he was okay. You know, because <laughs> what he did, you know, when he said that he cannot take the second place and all of that, what he did in that office, what do we call that? Is that not complete? Madness. Yeah. <laughs> well, he well, was saying things that were not coherent. We're just saying anything. Uh, well, you know, when, when like, you see, when you see something that um, that really touch your heart and so your <laughs> entire system can you know can knock, shake, knock, knock off, and shake. And then begin to so speak. leave him alone. What what he saw, what he saw, actually changed everything. Yeah. So, but I I believe that season six. I don't know what to come, and a lot of people ask me. I don't know if you've experienced it as yeah. you played by um, Baba Adibola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we ask you, hey, so what are, what's going to happen next? I don't know, because if you ask the owner of the story, the one that God is using to write the story, mm -hmm. himself will tell you that he does not really know what's going to happen next. That's one day it. I was discussing with him, I said, I, said, I think we we're talking about this. He said, well, what's <laughs> it? Tell you. You know, still expecting the delivery from God. Oh, God. You know? 
that it's God that will bring the story, all right? Then, hmm. you know, it's just like a pencil in the hands of the Lord, you know, to write it down. Abatua <laughs> has become an household name, not just only in Nigeria, continent of Africa. People are, are being blessed by this movie all over the world. A word for Damilola Magbamile before we wrap. Hmm. Damilola Magbamile, I want to say God bless you. Yeah. Uh, I want to say God bless you. And um, I will say also that thank you for the privilege to be on that series. Mm. I do tell people that, um, I do tell people that Abattoir is a divine package to mm. deliver people. So I understand when you say on Tigbewa. Yeah. You have to be careful. You don't need, you don't need to break anything. It's mm. fragile. Yeah. You have to receive it to be to receive it. So the brother me, I pray God we continually bless you, Amen. inspire you, mm. you know, to do more for him. I know Abattoir is just one of many. Yeah, you know, yeah, I know he's one yeah. of many. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. So, Damilola, Mike Bamilo, in case you are watching this, we want to say that the Lord will continue to bless you Amen. and use you. Ah, uh, you will not stop being a vessel in the hands of the Lord Amen. all the days of your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are bringing joy to many homes and many nations yes. of the world. What we are seeing with you today about Abatua will be the least ever. Yes, we we'll pray for Amen. you today on this altar of Beyond Entertainment Show with yes, PDO that it will be from a level of glory unto another glory. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It shall be well with you, your wife, and the fruits of your body in the Amen. mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so this is Beyond Entertainment Show with PBO. The story is behind the movies until I come your way again with another guest that is not less important. Keep loving Jesus and it shall be well with you. God bless you. We are out of here. Modern entertainment Beyond the applause of men We seek for something valuable And that is the soul of man and that is the soul of man Man and women So that for God And this is beyond entertainment And this is beyond entertainment Beyond entertainment Keep watching Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO.